Jesse. So in here I have um, the pepper, one tablespoon, two tablespoons of the seasoned salt, three tablespoons of garlic powder, and it's ready uh, to go. And one tablespoon of the pepper. Um, right here is where I had the buttermilk soaking for about an hour and with in garlic powder. So it's time to fry some chicken. Normally I just put one piece in at a time because if I put it in all at the same time to put it in the flour and I don't have enough room in my uh, pot to fry, then it's going to get uh, done. And right now I had it on high but as it got um, Uh, this is going to be really, really crispy. So I turned it down to medium hot and turned it off hot. And I kind of like the, the real crunchy uh, chicken. And you shake off that flour. And if you can get a a deep fryer, and you know, you should go to Walmart. I have one, but I didn't want to use one today because I'm not sure if everybody does have one. But if you do, that's great. Uh, and just be careful when you fry. Usually I have with some gloves to do this just because the flour is sticking all to your hand. But just shake it off really, really good before you put it in there. Now, if I was going to actually do a whole bunch of chicken, then I would have used my turkey fryer. And as it cooks, it will rise to the top. And you can, you know, adjust your heat. But it would be better off if you're not really good at frying in a cast iron. It would be better for you to actually get a fryer. And it, with the instructions on there, and then uh, you would know just how long and uh, what temperature for your chicken and how long you're supposed to cook it. This is peanut oil. I use peanut oil today just in case. Normally I would use some Crisco, but just in case, um, you know, your heat is going to be higher at frying chicken. And you don't want to fry it on a real low heat because uh, instead of the oil going all the way through your chicken, it will seep in and through and land in the middle. And that's what really makes greasy chicken. And I really don't like greasy chicken. Uh, greasy food either. So uh, I got it kind of on a higher temperature and it's, it's doing good. It nice and crispy, just the way I like it. And just remember, you know, watch your chicken and uh, don't go another room or start doing other things uh, because uh, it will just burn and, you know, it could be dangerous too. It could start a fire. thing about uh, using a uh, cast iron is, you know, um, the heat is even, so you have to really watch it. You may have to adjust your heat. You get a nice fork to stick it in as you're done. Myself, if I take the train, I'm going to probably fry this with chicken and have this with potato salad. 
And you know that potato salad video is already up. And uh, you don't have to end up spending a lot of money on the train. That food on the train is very expensive. If you're going somewhere with your family, then you want to try to save. And I just got a pan over here with a um, paper bag in there to get some of the oil um, off of the outside of the chicken. You have to do nothing fancy with it. Just use what you have in the house. I'll put it on uh, paper towels just because um, sometimes, you know, when something wet gets on there, it sticks. And if you use this recipe, it should come out really tasty, really, really good. I always poke a hole in there just to make sure. Okay, invest, in a, invest in a fryer and then that way you can just put it down and uh, whatever the instructions are known for frying chicken and, and it usually has a timer on there. And uh, that would probably be the best way to go. And just, it, just do it like that and just be done with it. But if you don't, then get you a cast iron or some other kind of um, pan that is good for frying. Not that stuff that be flaking off in the bottom of the pan, either that or cheap uh, frying pan. If you have more uh, of that flaky stuff off in your food than you will anything else that you can scratch up the bottom with. Well, I think that's going to be it. We're going to take this off. and crispy and you don't have to use buttermilk because buttermilk has a tendency to also uh, make things darker but here you go some really nice fried chicken how is that it's really hot really good Be encouraged that this is Missy.